This conference will now be recorded. Sangam, you can start whenever you are ready. Okay, so let's get started now. Uh, I hope everyone joined. Or let's get yeah. started. So by the time everyone joins, I will just recapitulate the other class, uh, last class. So we have seen in the last class about automation framework. Uh, basically, we started with the simple linear approach, uh, which I uh, explained uh, in terms of an example of Google, uh, which we automated using Selenium WebDriver with Chrome, right? So today we will see modularization approach to the same and go about uh, uh, an example using demo EAT. Uh, there is a site called demo engine so which we will use for our automation purposes so so hybrid framework is nothing but a combination of modularization uh, i'll explain these things in a minute and keyword driven reusable functions and data driven that means data will be coming from excel spreadsheet or csv file and uh, we can continuous uh, put uh, for a continuous integration, CA in Jenkins, that is for later, for scheduling execution, that is totally a configuration thing. Okay, so let me open clips. Okay. So in session okay uh, some uh, students have emailed me regarding the export and uh, installation itself so let me just go over them so installation is easy so all you have to do is just go to the site eclipse i guess Whoever I mean is the student joined today. If not, you can look at this video again. Recorded session. So basically, you download Eclipse, download 32 bit or 64 bit based on your. So that will pretty much open this one. This is the ID we are using for coding, right? And then what you have to do is uh, you have to download the Selenium. So Selenium for that i think you have a question about selenium so go to seleniumhq.org and just download this so basically this will take you to the another link okay so you download this 3.1414.0 version or you can also download this same thing for java so if I download this, I already downloaded, but I'm showing you. So this will download a jar, right? Oh, this is a server standalone jar, okay. So not this one. So we need, we don't need the server standalone. So always come to this one. So that's what I told you in the last class also. So directly come to Java, because we are going to code in Java uh, for selling web driver. So download this one, which will pretty much download a zip file, I guess. Let's see. Mm. 
still waiting. So let me take you to that place how so it will download. So it will download this. All right. Setting him. So which we have uh, this thing uh, X. Uh, where is it? Drivers. Yeah, which we have unzipped and put it into this. So these two files and these files. It's okay, it's taking time, but that's okay. So you have to download that. And what else? You have to download, download the Chrome driver. All right. So go to this. Which, where do you get this from? Again, right? So you go here. Wait a second, I think I should just mention these things in the beginning probably i have yeah so chrome driver right selenium hq data id so you download this and chrome driver yeah everything is given here so you go here copy this and put it here so you go here yeah so you download this latest version 2.42 yes and unzip it that's all so unzip it and uh, you will get this one so you put it in the c drivers folder everything you put you have to put it in the c drivers folder keep all unzip files in c drivers folder okay so it's not so that we fix this uh, folder so that we can fix this path in the code so you can put it in any day anywhere what you have to just fix it in on the code so every time you change it's uh, gonna fail if you couldn't find the driver it will fail. all right so any questions regarding installation it's very easy Okay, initially you have to download Java. That is a prerequisite. So I mentioned that one also. And then you go to the new tours.demo EAT. This is used for our uh, uh, automation purposes. Basically, this is like our AUT application under test. So we are going to automate this. So now we can pretty much take any site and automate. But this will be easier for uh, initial purposes. Okay. Now, one student has question about complex X path. Uh, okay, yes. like this, this is a complex X path, right? So, do we have that X path? You want to try? Did, where did you try? So, it basically contains this is the element, right? Simple X path is like this. First, try and understand the simple X path. So, here, element, the syntax I tell you. Simple, simple x path is working i need only for username and password and login page three or four and then right yeah i'm coming with it nevertheless i'll explain again for others also if you have doubts so this is like property name and it can go single quotes only property value and so that's pretty much the syntax so here a is the element it can be image it can be uh, text box it can be dropped on anything so whatever is there in the dom you have to put there so you, you have to look at the dom not to determine what element is and then contents is with a partial uh, match because contents is always better than the full match so i'm going to use contents and property name is whatever property name given in the dom again document object model so source you take source always precede by at the rate if it is text use this so it is syntax changes too so i just put syntax the for the most widely used for and the property name so this syntax is for simple export so let's write the same thing for complex so basically complex can be any number any complexity might come so you have to be uh i mean at the time you have to understand that so so my complexity let's say i'm gonna use and all right so how do i put 
element this and this and and comes here right contains same element element doesn't change so all you have to do is i have to repeat this inside with an am and keyword and is like a concatenation in the x bar so here i use let's say property one property value one and here i will use property two and property value two element is same correct so i am targeting for the same element because if i target two elements i cannot do the operation element is same like link that link okay if i put this simple x path it's resulting in two matches so i had to dig down to single match so hence i am putting one more match so that it results in a single match so this is the example for this thing so example is like this yeah okay now let's uh, go to your example uh, okay so what was your mention in the email did you take it from here or somewhere else which side yes uh, somebody was having the Hello. Hello. Uh, your voice is audible. Uh, I mean, barely audible. <laughs> I mean to say. Can you speak up a little bit? Yes, I use this uh, Mercury yeah. Okay, so you got the point, right? Basically, how do you write the complex? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, you can try. This this syntax can change, so that's why I'm saying. So we will. Take examples as many so that you'll understand. So, for example, you want to include a uh, parent element also, right? Then what I would what I would do? I will also do like list is a parent element. So I'll put it here. Or I can it can be R also, right? So I am targeting either this or this matches, which has a parent L like either and or either or is it the uh, parent. Correct. Problem is uh, elements. Choosing. Correct. So it can have parent element one, and you can also mention parent element two. So like uh, can you go back the URL marker it over and then just select the element and then maybe here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then select the element. <laughs> so control shift I is the... yeah. Um, okay, I mm -hmm. think I have mentioned this. Yeah. I did I mention this? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so let's target one of the elements that might need a username and password. This is two username and password, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am putting here. So control F for opening the export validator. This is the export validator. Control F inside the DOM here too. Otherwise, Control F here will result in this Control F. Okay, so you might be wondering again. You will not get Control F uh, opening valid here. So you Control Shift I will open DOM and you click in the DOM and then Control F will open this one. Find by string select export. Okay. Now our syntax says first you put double slash relative part and input right. As soon as you put input, it changes, it goes somewhere, right? So you have to redo it a couple of times. In Firefox, it's a different story. I have used some other extension like, like uh, TX or something, right? X uh, test X path or something. That's name. So it changes according to the application. Okay, so what else? Now, which property I can go for here? name comma okay so contains right or okay i will show you differently name equals equals is exact match and the user name okay. uh, one of one right this is an exact match exact match is equals so let's put this example here example eight let's say example zero okay this is easiest 
okay now i want to go for contains right contains you have to put bracket instead of equals you say comma syntactically it will be different you, if you practice more you don't even have to look at the syntax again so same one of one match that is also good okay so same thing i can go for complex i mean i don't have to go for complex but i am going for complex to show the example so what else input is static constant i am targeting about input only so you don't put and input again so inside here you just copy this and put and right and what i am going for type text right type and this is for code same thing it will work so one of one and highlighting if i want to go for or so let me copy this all these results in same element so this will be a good example for you and if i want to go for or either this matches or that matches still it will work because this is going to result in same element this is going to result in same element right so this will also work so sometimes you should use or okay so when when do you use or sometimes this changes sometimes that changes right so you are not sure which one will work which time so then you would go for or or is rarely used otherwise and is used mostly so logically logical or okay so sometimes this is good sometimes developer changes this sometimes developer changes this so at one time only one of these is true so hence i want to go for or so if you are not completely sure about this okay so if i uh, go for its parent how do you what is its parent immediate parent is td so how do you go about it immediate parent so basically relative means there are many number of parents for this input right now td is the immediate parent correct so immediate means single slash distance relative means double slash just remember that okay so input right input its immediate parent is td table data so td slash input is of and before td there are many relatives td 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 t are all the way till html so that's the topmost parent so i don't have to mention all those hence i am mentioning double slash which is relative so if i want to go for like this is again for uniqueness if you want to fetch one only and only one match you have to do this work on it it's for so here it's easy but i'm showing in case there are two matches for this i have to go for td still let's say there are three matches or four matches i can go for table okay so this is one example so fixing this one element i'm showing multiple examples to deal with any kind of element in case of all this result in the same element all these are not equal xbox are different but <coughs> Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's say this also. That time yeah. we will click the table or TD and then we will click it or uh, just scroll down. Which one is good? Uh? Scroll up and scroll down. That's all. You don't have to click it because already you have one match, right? I mean, if you have two, yes. three matches, you have to go a little bit here like this. Because uh, in the app table is showing in everything HTML, TD, body, and div, everything. And then I will click hmm. this one easy or? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's see. Let's see one more complexity. Now I have to mention parents or distant parents properties also. Let's say you, you need to do that sometimes. So what I'll do is here I'll take okay. Let's say take TD also okay. And let's say TD is there. And uh, let's go for its immediate, not immediate parent, distant parent. So. TD is distant parent is stable. Still, I am intact. One of one match is still perfect, uh, perfectly pointing. I mean, I can still take this X path as valid X path. So I am showing one more example. Let's say table has also some properties right here. So let's say this is going to result in two or three matches. Now I have to further filter it down. So table has what elements? Let's say 
I mean, these are all properties. This is the element. These are property value, property two, value two, property three, value three. So I can do. So these are not good. Cell padding three can be subject to change. So you can give or you can go further. Okay, let's go further. So just be careful. TR is the last parent. These are all siblings of TR. So you cannot put double slash. For the sibling, there is another current uh, notation, double dot. So that we can put later. We can show an example later. Okay. So okay. For this time being, I'll put the whatever it is there. Right. So let's take. So if you see like this border zero, it's not advised to take those properties because it, they're subject to change. So let's say there are legitimate properties like name and so and so. So I'm assuming that I'm taking. I can take whatever is there. So now tell me how would I take? How would I write the properties for the this thing? Contains. Wait. Take one of the pick one of the properties. Width. Let's take width only. And 100. 100 let me put 100 in zero percent okay i mean it, it is html but okay still this is correct and this is a complex query all these are complex queries starting from second so likewise you have to build it yeah so you can go on on and on about this so as in when we need it i'll show you for example, so everything clear now regarding exports. Any more doubts? We'll share it with you. So you have to look at the uh, application and DOM clearly understand it, and then and uh, yeah. So these are means immediate means distant relative. Terminology wise, I just just to make you understand means immediate relative relative means it's parent you can say this is parent is grandparent exact match you use partial match you use i mean you can use double code too okay so the i forgot to tell you so always use even though it's exact match equal sign always use single quote only because if you use double quote happens is you have to escape it use escape character because the string this x path is a string and you're going to put that x path in another string quotes right quotes within a quotes are not allowed unless you escape the in, inside code so this is complex i mean you have to use these and uh, like this double quote so in, instead to avoid this just use single quotes which are not which are allowed in the selenium Okay, so these are all examples of Selenium, uh, I mean, Xpaths. Then GitHub, we'll see it later. Uh, just for sharing the project, finally, I will see. Because for the time being, you can, I wanted to practice and uh, using the notes only. And blah, blah. Okay, these are already over, so I'm taking these out. Yeah, so we have seen. Uh, entire architecture ex uh, thing I have explained you web server, two tier architecture as client and web server, and three tier architecture and entire architectures have web service in between. Too. So these are all we are going to come back after the main talk is over. So automation framework. So last class we have seen a simple example of Selenium. Uh, how do you Google? How do you uh, automate the Google. So let me run it quickly. Okay, now it launched. And Quit. Okay. So finally, what you're getting? Okay, some error. Okay, why? Because did we put anything wrong here? 
Google search. Okay, so now I'll show you how to debug this. So error is at this point, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. You put something here. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let's submit search result. Ah, uh, okay. I remember you are clicking on that. Probably that might have changed. Uh, maybe it's dynamic. So when something like this occurs, just click on this. And this is occurring at this point. Basically, Xbox was not found. So if you look at this console, just double click on the console, you will see the expanded version of it. So read the exception, okay? Just whenever the exception is thrown, do not panic. Always read it. So this is a good example for exception understanding. So what does it say? It started Chrome browser on port number so and so local connections have started and it started executing so it basically launched i did not put logging for each and every action so if you put it will be easier until what point it successfully reached and what point it threw error so we will put that too and for the timing i know for a fact that it's actually opened and it threw exception at this point selling element not visible exception so element is not intractable because xpath was wrong so that is obvious reason so element is not intractable and you can you can skip this portion this it's too technical you don't have to understand this so because it's going inside i mean inside the in the jdk what are the functions and classes that are being executed we don't need this these are a little built in so whatever we executed code written code so only we are going to take a look at so the best way is always come down here and my code is pointing to this one selenium to example java line number 35 that's what it means remote web it's actually clicking is calling another class called remote web drive web element that is built in we don't have to worry about these are all it is calling this one it's calling this one this one this one finally it's calling this one so these are all built in okay so even if you click on this one you're not going to understand anything it's it, there is a class file so there is no source attached here you can attach source but class files you leave it you don't understand anything you have to uh decompile them you know or if you attach source so this particular client combined jar which is the basic selenium jar right that has all this coding so we will leave that and come to final line and it is pointing to here now understand this what it is trying to do after entering the search term we are trying to click the google button search button that's what it is find element by xpot button xpot dot click correct so the click didn't work and it threw exception called element not visible exception that means the x path is definitely wrong so the error occurred at here because of this wrong x path now we have to take a look at this so in order to do the debug it i have to put a breakpoint so just double click here it will insert a breakpoint okay now initially i told you instead of executing we are going to debug it how do you debug it yes anyone how do you debug it you right click on this file and debug as instead of run as you debug as java application so what it's gonna do it's gonna run till this point and pause here stop here for the time being it won't end it but it will just pause for uh, next instructions either we can step in or step out or step over okay so now i'm gonna debug yes okay so we typed flight booking and what it is trying to do is it's trying to 
click on this Google search, correct? So it couldn't find. Maybe because it's hidden, maybe because it's changed, export change or something dynamically changed. Let's investigate. So that's our job. So this is all important, what I'm going to tell you right now, because just because it's thrown error, you can't leave it. Okay. Now we are at that point, correct? Now X path is this one. So you pick this X path and we are trying to validate it on the page, right? So I'm going to maximize this manually, but I'll show you how to maximize it automated fashion. So now what you have to do? Same thing. More tools, developer tools, or basically open the DOM. So you can open DOM on the side also, that's fine. Okay. Now select this. Or I can pretty much control F and try to investigate. Okay. So it is correct. One of one. So whatever X path we have written, it's correct. If the X path was wrong, you have to rewrite it, correct it here yeah, and validate it. Okay. Now what else could be problem? It was probably hidden. Or it is basically uh, the new uh, feature in Google is it will autocomplete. It will show all the related searches immediately. And maybe the Google search we are target, um, targeting is this one and not this one, right? Even though this is also correct, it is still pointing. And so I assume this is hidden when it was executing, correct? That may be another reason. So what we have to do is we have to find a way here. Either you can escape or click on this one. Definitely it will. It's still one match. Is it match? No, that's not a match. We have written X path for the other Google button. So let's see, how do you rectify it? So basically you're getting this and it's hidden. Yes. Light working. If it is not hidden, let's see. Still hidden. So you have to basically draw, scroll down. Mm. Scroll down and click, or you can escape it pretty much, or you can click here, and you you should be able to click here. That is another way. So basically, you have to work work around it. Okay. So this is our term. Now, practically, it's hidden. So one way is I can scroll down, or yeah, escape this. To escape this, you can click anywhere, or here itself. One more time. Click here. Okay, clicking here will not take you anywhere. So click on the page somewhere on the image. Okay. Now I should be able to click this one. So that's my plan. So this X path is not working for this one. So what I have to do is I have to write X path for this one. Okay. Input value contains. Okay, value is see here input. Yeah. So now I'll simply rewrite it. Input value is Google search. Okay, so initially I can go for simple X path, but it's not working. Double is needed, I mean, complex is needed. So I will write and write. Okay, value is there. And I can go for name also, right? And contains. Tell me when when I'm writing, you can tell me. You can jump in and tell me, or uh, you can just listen calmly. Either way, sure. So which one do you think is the best one? You can practice by telling it. Right? Okay. So still one of two. Okay. What you can do, you can go about uh, multiple. So here I can see one which is hidden somewhere. I think definitely second match is this one. Yeah, second match. So see all these button type submit value, area label, name, or for number one also. So that's why we had to go for something extra. Do oh, that's why I went for do correct. I get it. Okay, so now I'll go for do. 
which is also parent of this one or not that's not sure but let's write it anyway so how do you write it's a distance distance to do okay still one of two but i want to mention contains and the real okay class i can go for class what's its value what's it what is its value its value is so and so yes okay still one or two i think we face the same problem okay whose div is this one i can go for this one so input oh we have written this one so div parent i can go for this div right which is a parent okay let's go for that still one or two i think this is lying just here so let's see what is other match doesn't show okay so this is first match second match yeah so we want the second match not the first match first match is up or down right here yeah second match Oh, okay, so second match is actually I can take this one. So you are looking at the first match. Then. So I can take this. Yeah, that's it. So basically, I, we were looking at the other match. So we want this one rather than that one, right? So I can take this and put it here, right? So now we can pretty much switch to Java and. Uh, Okay, so what I'll do is I'll keep this side aside and work with this one. So just in case if I need this one, I'll use it. Okay, so let's call it. What do you want to call it? Let's say X path one because you cannot have two names, same names for the variables. It would say duplicate. So I'll put this one, and I don't want to use it, but I'll just keep. So just uh, compare two of them, okay? Difference and find out the difference, okay? The I'm interested in this one, X part, okay? Okay. This. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so send keys. We have typed the keys. Then we have to do one more action. You have to click somewhere here in order to escape this, okay? So you have to do it manually and find out, okay? This is what I done. Now I want to click on this or the back one, the back rule set, which is invisible pretty much. So I have to escape this. So in order to do that, I have to click somewhere here. That's my plan. Okay. Now in order to click somewhere here, I have to find the X path of that one again, clicking. Okay. So now I take this, find anything. You can find this one or it shouldn't go away from the page as long as you click. Okay. Now I want to click on this one. So find out the X path. Okay, can anyone write the export for this one quickly? Quickly, quickly. Don't don't waste time. Respond within two seconds. One, two, okay, I'll go over. Okay, uh, tell me image and then Okay, anyone? Contains. I mean, this is for your practice. If you listen like uh, uh, like a song, it's not gonna help you. Okay, contains. Just speak out. Contains. Yes. What do you want to take? You can take any property. Alt. Okay. What is the property value? Close this by the time you can. No speak out. Okay. That's good. It's one of one. So in order to just work around this, I'll just click on this. So where can I put this one? After send keys, correct? So how do I write? I'll directly write it instead of putting in any other 
uh, string variable and uh, passing that as a click uh, x for the l directly. So driver dot, I have to find element. This is pretty much standard. I already explained you. Using driver, from driver, I am finding the element. By is a class, okay. By what x path and what x path this x path and what is the operation click okay this is pretty much standard line through whole automation so you have to understand this okay now this is for just comment i am putting the auto suggestions those are actually blocking us remember auto suggestions i am i okay let's restart something wrong with this Okay, it actually restarted. I should have stopped the debug. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's still debugging. Uh, let's go here. It stopped here. So, here, right? Now, what I'll do is I can step over. Step over means go from here to here. Step into means go inside. So, there is no function here. So, I can go over step four function is uh, f6 okay i stepped over now step over again now it's gonna probably it's back side so it didn't find it or there is one more yep so done it actually was on the back end so we couldn't see we will run at a stretch now i'm gonna close so before this uh, it was actually not opening in the maximized mode, right? So let's open this in the maximized mode. So when do we do that? After launching browser and hitting the URL, I will try to open the maximized mode. So what is the maximized mode? Driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. So there are options window. What you can do with the window? Maximize to size specific size you can reset uh, resize it or wait so we are going to use this maximize or full screen mode so all these options are there so you can pretty much choose so i want to choose maximize so this is to maximize i'll just write the comments on top so that uh, okay. now what what we are okay actually i have to terminate because I'll jump to the Java perspective, not debug. Okay, so let's try and understand this on as a whole. Okay, so that we will move to the next uh, modularization. Okay, first things first. First, what we have to do, we have to configure the Chrome driver. Now, Chrome driver is a dislocation, right? And I'm just simply setting the property. Okay, property name is webdriver.chrome.driver and its path is here that's what i'm telling the system my system my machine my windows machine that's the system and i am create i have to create an instance of web driver okay for the chrome driver so remember we talked about this parent and child uh, thing. so web driver is an interface and chrome driver is the one with the class which implemented the functions and methods and variables in the web driver interface so it basically basically took over it i mean it customized it for its own browser the google did it so when i instantiate the web driver for the chrome driver using this driver instance i should be able to operate on all the elements in the chrome driver only okay that's what it means now using this i mean the reason why you put try catch block is in case any exceptions are through i should be able to catch them here and execute finally and throw so if you want to throw abruptly i can add throws throw okay so i uh, if i want to throw stop it i will add throw otherwise if i want to continue i don't add it it's optional okay so coming back here so what i'm trying to do using driver i'm launching the chrome browser first and opening the url so that's what it means i wrote the clear meaning of this line so this is what we are doing here then what you want to do by default it will open a restored mode so i have to maximize it because i want to take the screenshots clearly and use um, see the 
automated script uh, while execution clearly so i have to open the maximize mode now after opening i should be able to execute my test case test case uh, step so the step next in the after launching is search i mean type something in the google key uh, search uh, search this thing search box okay so x path for search text box i have to find it so this is the x path we already found it right now using this x path i should be able to operate on it so i wrote the search term to i created a string variable for search term to so that i can validate it use it this is my expected search term operate on the text box how do you operate first you clear then click these are all optional you without which also you can do but it's a good idea so uh, you, i can put all these three in a method called click link or click button and just call it that is next okay so i am doing this linear fashion so then what i have to do using this driver find element this is important using this driver i have to find element by is a class all right by takes by name by id by blah 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 so here by x path okay and it's asking me x path what is x path x path i already found it here so instead of passing this string i just pass the string variable search box x path right then it's asking me to do the operation what operations are available for the this uh, search box send keys typing and send keys takes again again and there are what what you want to type in so that search term i want to type this okay this all means that if you understand this uh it's fine if, if you don't understand this tell me just now right? we will see more complex than this so it's good time to ask questions okay uh no questions i'll move on and the next what you have to do whatever you want to do using manual test case you are trying to automate here so drive dot find element by x path here what i am trying to do i want to click right so before clicking i am uh, just to escape that auto sessions i am clicking on somewhere on the image okay then i want to click the actual button search button so for this this is the x path this is just for understanding so i'll comment this and then drive dot find element by x path and what x path i want to operate on which is a button x path on button what i can operate what is operation for button click so i called click so then next thing is validation so these are all whatever after operations you have to validate that is a test uh, case for uh, purpose right validations now capture the text i want to validate like page title should be according to the requirement specifications so i actual page title i want to capture run time capturing this text how do you capture using driver again whatever you want to operate including capturing so there is a method for driver chrome driver which is called get title which basically gets me title and returns me the string so i stored it in the my own string variable called actual page title and just for the display purpose i will display this to the console title of the page is so and so okay then i want to wait for some time because it takes little time in order to sync up with the application my automation has to wait for some time so i will use two uh, like two seconds wait so i can wait multiple ways either i can use a driver dot wait or thread dot sleep or there are many ways so i will just show you quickly so that we will use this uh, going forward also so if i want to wait certain time i can use this okay oh we will see the other i already wrote this example here in this okay so we will see the dynamic weight and other implicit weights in the next example instead of uh, flooding this simple example with all this so validation okay then expected page title is this one so basically what uh, my requirement says is whatever you type in google and uh, the next page should have this title that search term 
plus this right that's my expected so whatever you're expecting according to requirements is expected actual runtime whatever we're capturing that is called actual so you have to name your variables accordingly so now actual validation occurs this is a comparison so actual means uh, com uh, validation means comparison between expected and actual so this is where you compare expected and actual values so simple i can write a function about this but linearly i'm showing you using if condition i can compare two values simple as we have seen in the java class so this will be repeated again and again using usage of if for while so on the go we will learn more so if, even if you this is very simple if you don't understand uh, uh let me know right now because we are going to see a lot of this so I, this means I need, yeah, go uh, ahead. can you go back with the validate the page time that string uh -huh. row, how did you get that string expected title no go down that go down expected title yeah right before um, the implicit explicit time right this one the one is highlighted yellow yes this, this one this, one's... One, right? mm -hmm. huh, this is okay that's a good question so how do I, how did i arrive at this expected i arrived at this expected from the business requirements remember in the manual testing session i told you business requirements business requirement specifications and manual test case you don't say manual every time it's just this case okay so my test case says in the test case document excel i showed you one example right it says when you type some search term in the google and click on search button the title of the next page should be that search term and type in google search that's the requirement expecting based on the business okay this is nothing to do with the coding it is simply business understood right so that i renamed and named it as expected that means this is what the developer developer has coded i mean expecting and in business requirement is written in the brs document srs document has screenshot with this and developer and uh, the architect has designed likewise and developer has coded in such a way that when you type something and click search button it will display exactly the search term i can google search that is a requirement nothing no coding involved you take it for granted understood right this so then the business. yeah go ahead so that's already known you don't need to make ah, exactly yeah, yeah. that's what i was trying to say it is already known you take it for granted this is what you have to validate this is you expect it that's what i that's what they are saying all oh, right right expect okay. this okay now actual we have to code it i mean real time what is coming that i am storing in actual page title using this driver.get title now simply i have no i am going to compare this two get it Mm -hmm. Using if condition, all I have to do is comparison. What is the validation mean? What does it mean by a validation? Validation means you compare expected with actual. Perfect. Where is the expected coming? I already told you in the beginning classes. Expected is coming from business requirement specification document (BRS) and manual tester has written that in the form of test case. this is very simple don't uh, uh, overthink about this just think that expected is known already okay you should know already by reading some document that is nothing to do with java coding or selenium coding okay this is coming from document which is shared by your team business business analyst will share it with you in that there is this thing expected now i am just simply making a variable that's all about it in terms of java this thing is already there i am and parameterizing it search term whatever i enter that i can google search that's my it's very generic i am making it generic that's all about it now validation means you have to compare it expected dot equals actual so if condition two strings how do you compare using equals so if expected page title equals actual page title 
then I am simply printing something. I can do anything here. I can take screenshot, I can print it to PDF. Simply for the simplicity's sake, I'm just printing it to console like pass. Basically, it's a pass. If I expected equals actually, it's a pass. In term, in general, in testing world, if actual equals expected, it is considered to be passed, the step. Clear? Yes. Okay, good. This is very, very basic. That's why I already told about the basic things initially. So you are getting doubt, that's fine in the, in the automation. But these are some of the basic things which were discussed already earlier. That's why I was asking you to ask questions in the beginning. So anyway, so in the automation, you can still ask me questions because you might be, uh, you might have forgotten about it. So here expected, actually we are comparing. If both are equal, I want to say pass. If both are else means what? If they are not equal, that is the only option left. Right? Then what is it? That means it's something else, actually something else. That means it's failed. Then I'm printing what is the expected and what is the actual just for my understanding, clarity in here while execution time I can look at. Okay, that's it. That's the old test case. Now the test case is automated here. So I can print this out. Ta -da -ta -da -da. Test case ends here. Okay. So this will print it just for the printing sake I'm putting. I mean, you can put it in the actual real-time environment also. These are, this is what we do. And if there is any exception during this try block, it will come to catch. I already showed you, right? In the Java classes, if you are there, it will throw the exception with all the stack trace. This is all stack trace. Yeah. And it will print the stack trace to the console and it will throw that and come to finally block. And finally, it will close the driver. Close the driver means close the browser. That's it. Okay, now let's try to execute this whole thing at one go. So if this is the simplest example of all, if you understand this, you have understood um, like 50% of it, I would say. If you don't understand, uh, understand it, tell me right now. Uh, but even if you don't get questions, don't worry. So I'm going to complicate this by modularizing the same thing. And we will go on to the entire application of this. So that's why I gave you homework for writing XPass for these, right? Home, flights, hotel, inside, register, blah, blah, blah. Correct. So the, yeah, so we'll come to that. Okay, anyway, we'll run it. Uh, yeah, deleting too much. Okay, now open the launch browser, open the URL, then I have written new step, maximize. It did, and then typed flight booking. It was too quick. Okay, everything went too fast because it because I didn't put any sleeps. It's so uh, lightning fast. You have to pay attention. Okay, now everything successfully executed. Okay, execution was successful. Now let's look at the actual test case. Title of the page is so and so, and page title is correct. It's pa it passed and test case ends. So just for the sake of where it starts, you can put test case starts uh, this thing banner also. Okay, just for your understanding. This is purely Chrome driver related, so don't get confused. Where my test case starts, I can put clearly to indicate just to avoid your confusion. So I can pretty much put it here, initial try block in the beginning of try block starts. Okay, now you're clear. Okay, now watch again what first launch open URL, maximize browser, and then type clear, click and type something, and then click somewhere else. This is too fast. You can't even uh, notice this. So that's fine. That's how it should be. Escape, you click on somewhere else, and then there is a search button available. Then boom, click on it, right? Click here on the search button. Then the next page goes, I want to capture this title, and then actual is compared with expected here. Then boom, pass, and then test case ends. That's it. It won't even go to else. And finally, it didn't even enter cache because there were no exception during this. If there was an exception like XPath not found, it would have entered here. There was none, so it didn't. Finally, it came here, close the browser. So that's all it did. One more time.
okay that's it so within 10 how many 10 seconds the execution is over and it has to be fast that's all so read anybody read the uh, logs here and see if you want any more logs uh, let me know we will put them what logs okay good question these are the logs console logs logs means whatever we executed it is trying to i am trying to print it to the console the logs is whatever action is being done i am logging them here just like you put uh, in the register log right so same way these are like re results reports for reporting purposes logs are important okay now i can put many logs do you want any more logs here yes you can say yes what logs i want after opening the browser can i log it here yes where can I log it where is the opening browser happening after maximizing here right so i can put pretty much log here which is a good idea so what can i put here this application open okay so i can say now i'm just gonna copy this and put it just for your understanding you can see read this and understand later i mean it's okay simply because it's very simple if the test case is complex you should be able to understand them just by looking at the logs so hence the logs uh, are needed so here such term is so and so such term i enter so where can i enter those yes here right out of the action action followed by log action followed by log that's a good idea so send key, search term. What search term I enter? I can also put that one. Pay parameter is it pretty much. So I enter the search term. Yes, what is the search term? What did I search here? Exactly search term. Okay, I don't don't want to hard code it here. Correct. So I can put here concatenate both of them. Okay, so whatever system. So let's say tomorrow I can put something else. Try booking, uh, booking in cargo. Okay, so this can be my system. Let's see with this one. So I can pretty much parameterize this from my data pool. So hence this has to be totally generic. Okay, it cannot be hard coded. So enter the system, system, whatever it is. Okay next where else you need log after clicking of course where did we click here correct okay I, I also click it here so if you want i can put it here just for the understanding purpose later that's all okay so click on image to escape the auto suggestion box okay just for our understanding only don't worry Okay, next, I'm just copying to avoid the retyping. Okay, now what is this log? Tell me. Click done where? This is actual click. Click done. Google search button. Right. Don't worry, am, am I going too fast or too slow? Too fast. Too fast. Okay, that's why I was asking. Nobody is responding, so I'm going fast. So you respond, I'll go slow. All right. I mean, only you are speaking, no one else is speaking. So I am understanding they already understood it. So that's my understanding. So if you don't speak. Okay, validations. Now, validations, We uh, did we put any log? Yes. It's our title of the page is actual title, right? Then we already put after the comparison. If both are match, pass not match fail okay enough logging now let's rerun this and see if the logs are perfect execution is perfect then you worry about the logs if execution is not perfect worry about the code okay now see new term new search term perfect now accordingly the title changes so now look at this i'm maximizing the console okay so this is my test case starting application open enter the search term this is what happened real time so 
click down the image to escape auto suggestions click down the google search title of the page is c light books kings in chicago google search so accordingly it changed that means it is correct page title is correct this case ends perfect any questions yes no all right okay i i'll take this as a yes so i'm moving forward so let's go about framework design okay so for this we need to capture xpaths uh, did anybody capture xpaths like i told you somewhere yeah for uh, page objects we have to create create infrastructure level functions we will see later because this is going to take more uh, 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 coding experience so i'm going to come to later data driven yes i'm going to come put in excel spreadsheet <coughs> excel spreadsheet and take it from there first let's start from from the down page objects so let's take page objects and put the x parts in the page object model output is going to look like this so just like this so this is our output so so this is another output don't worry about this output this output belongs to next example okay so i uh, basically we are working we are going to work on this application only as a whole so where did i put Tada. okay so this is how it's going to look when we call uh the infrastructure functions okay so i told you right set text okay i want to just type something in this okay everything i am going to put inside that function so don't worry about this this is called the part of hybrid framework so the set text simply takes driver and the export the export of that particular element and the type whatever i am going to type <coughs> inside so that whatever type uh, whatever text i'm going to type in that uh, so that is going to come from the spreadsheet so this is totally totally final coding this is how it's going to look but to arrive at this i have to go through a lot of simple things in order to make you understand so don't worry hybrid means in parallel function plus page objects x path plus data full parameterization just remember so we are going to take care of this first okay xpaths anyway okay you already learned xpaths so these xpaths we are going to put them in the page objects Sim page objects means simply one class right okay so i asked you to write xpaths for these pages remember anybody anybody did that or you can say yes or no even though you didn't do it you can say you did it yes i'll no. go for no okay i appreciate your honesty anyone else i did it <coughs> page object model but i connected the test and that time my machine is problem okay okay and don't worry don't worry yeah, yeah that's good. yeah yeah that's everything good. is yeah. complicated and then but only for running time is problem uh-huh that's okay you did it you keep it with your in your system only we are going to redo mm -hmm. it anyway so quickly because mm -hmm. all that's all i wanted to do if i if you already did it i can go faster you know don't worry about test ng right now because test ng is for uh, advanced okay we are going to use <laughs> unit only don't worry test ng is for annotations using like mm -hmm. before class before method after class after mm -hmm. method so so for now we are going to use our own custom framework okay so this is all these are all the steps i told you right uh, for automation steps these are the basic steps add all the selenium javascript clips first then capture the xpaths start coding debug and final execution okay then report generation so this is the overall and surface level i mean uh, high level steps okay so we are actually looking at these two things right now the uh, first thing is over and debugging happens in between final execution finally you write uh, run all these cases okay so static weight i already showed you static weight is where is it static weight uh, yeah this is static weight thread dot slip so you want to wait for a certain time wait implicit weight dynamic fit we will come to that okay so now 
registration sign in flight finder select right okay so we will go about these things so i created pages and the classes remember so first thing where did we put registration or sign in yes sign in we put sign in you know we need username and password right so what else we need for sign in sign in also button okay so let's try to figure out <laughs> Hmm. Okay, tell me quickly what is the XPath? We'll just go about it. Sign in button. Um, double slash input. Yes, it's written. Next. Yes. Contains. These are standard. You can write all this, and then what are you about? And the rate. Yeah. Then what property you want to take? Choose wisely, so that it will result in one match at least from our. Do not choose the uh, uh, these thing. Typical ones. Choose the unique ones. Whatever you find unique. What could I take? Like if I go for, uh, you know, type image. No, it's very typical. It can occur for others also. And it's subject to change. So I have to look for a unique one. I can go for sign in. Remember? Yeah. Sign in. And uh, alt is it's this thing. So that means if I hover over, sign in is going to be alt. It's, I mean, don't worry about it. It's not doing it. And uh, I can go for value, login, yes, or combination of this. I can go for. So these are all property equals value. Property equals value. If you look at anything. Okay. Uh, let's choose name login. Okay, that sounds good. As long as it's gonna show one result, I'm good. So I'm good. One of one. So simple. And create a variable, right? And where is this going? Sign in page because I am dealing with sign in. All the export for sign in pages, I'm putting it here as a private string because i can pretty much use them uh, here also okay so you can put public if you want uh, doesn't matter let's see about that so name of the object is name of the variable is i can say sign in okay one more thing is it's good idea to put a uh, type of variable uh, type of object so here username is what kind of object text box right so i'll tell you the use of it but text box underscore so as soon as i go here and i want to use this variable i'll simply first things i that comes in my mind is it's a type text box then i just type text box underscore partially and it will auto auto populate i can select either username or the so that is the reason. So I can put text box. This is a standard nomenclature, naming convention. So, and what is the sign in? Is it a link or button? It's a link actually. Look like button, but you can take button also. It all depends what you want to take. Naming is according to you. So let's use button. Yes. And what is its export? I just return. Right, I just have written the export. So these three, that's all we need for this page. User name, password, and change. Okay, so next we'll go to registration or yeah. Okay, now tell me it's very easy. If you find one next path, it's easy for others. Okay, already I've written something, I just need to change something. So name, name equals what? Pay attention, otherwise you will not get it again. One of one. Okay. If you are able to look at the screen, tell me. Otherwise, it's out of order. first name. Ah, first name. Yeah, exactly. First name. You're right. So now, where should I put it? Which one it belongs to? I am dealing with register. So where is the registration page? Here. Uh, and then I have to create a couple variables. Okay, what are those variables? 
and what type of object it is box underscore what is the name of the object first name i can put it like this correct equals and it's export i'm just simply storing this is a part of modularization so like now i pretty much use the same and copy this and rename this to last okay don't worry if i put if i already started the small letter i can use a capital letter for each word so that's fine username if i already started with the username i could have used the okay just a naming convention that's all it's not going to change any functionality but it's good to have a name convention so it says some warning these are all warnings yellow color what is it warning this was never used okay that's because we have not started using it we are going to use it so you can ignore this right now okay so what is the last name pretty much last name would be i'm sure it's a last name only okay without even second thought i can change yes see last name is last name because name is last name so i can take if you write for one rest will be easy now what else oops copy this okay next phone you have to look at it okay so what's the phone name phone that's all i just need to change property is also same object is also same input so you just write once and keep changing I mean, the application is so simple. Otherwise, it wouldn't uh, let you do that. So, if application is too complex, then you have to work on it. And what is the variable name? And it's a text box. Email. Yeah. Then email. I'm sure it's email. I'll just take my chances. Yeah, it's not correct. Maybe it's a. You this is a case sensitive. Case sensitive. Case sensitive, yeah. So that's why I know, but it's case sensitive. That's all. See, ah, oh, okay. So just remember, there is some uh, mistake in this coding. Developer has given wrong values to the object. So email, he has given it to username. See, when I hover over it, it's highlighting username. So doesn't matter. You take whatever is there in the DOM. Don't go for your own. You understood what I said, right? developer has given wrong values to wrong objects which is okay fine as far as the automation is concerned so email is not so in this case i have to actually look at this and see see name is username for email However, yeah you got the point right that's funny but i have to take it yeah so because this x path will let me operate on this one so i had to take it so this is actually belonging to so I'll take this email. Okay. Alex. Right. So that's a you this uh, mismatch, but you can't help it. So you can talk to developer regarding this change. But that's okay. As far as Selenium library is concerned, it doesn't matter because if whatever is their x path if you give correctly it's gonna operate on it it is respective of its name name doesn't matter there. okay so now next address address one yeah so this is the same okay so this will go here so instead of i can just change here right that's it and what is this called? Address one. Let's call it address line number one. And line number two is optional, so we don't you don't have to because in manually you can leave it empty. So I'll leave it empty in automation. But if you want, you can operate on this too. You can enter like apartment number or 
suite number or something. So you want to operate on this or you want to leave it blank? What do you want to do? You want to operate on it? It's up to you. Test case, whatever test case is. So right now you are the test case. You are my test case. Right now yeah. operate is good. Operate is good. Yes. You want to operate on it? Okay. Yeah, let's take yeah. everything. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so now tell me what is its name, address, two. Address two here. That's all. It's just changing the number in address. So this is my next text file. Okay, all I can do is copy the previous line and just change this to two. And this will be two. Variable name. Okay, you're trying to understand what I'm trying to do here, right? If you don't, let me know right now. It's very simple. I'm creating string variables for each X path and naming them accordingly, appropriately. Okay, next. What is this? This is a one time only thing. Okay, once you do it, you don't have to touch the X path. Then we will concentrate on the logic, coding logic. So this is just pure hard work. You have to work on the X path. Huh? CT. CT. <coughs> just copy yeah. and change the element only for CT. Correct. Exactly. You got it. You have to say that so that I understand that you understood it. Next, I'll just copy this. Okay. I'll put it here and I'll just CT. I'm just changing the name property. That's all because that's. Uh, that's all is there in the DOM. So I'll just go with the DOM. Okay, next state and province state. Okay, without even validating, I can come down because, okay, oh sorry, this name is the city. Now, next thing is state. So state. Higher it says state or province. So let's call this. And name is simply state. Just for the understanding, I clearly mentioned the variable name. Postal code. What's that? Postal code is postal code. Again, just validate it quickly. Yes, one of one. Postal code. Okay, so actually these are all maybe optional, but red ones are mandatory, so that's why. But as an automation tester, I'll fill every field just to test them. Okay, it's a good idea. Now country, country is what kind of ob object? This is not a regular object, radio right? Radio button, radio button. This is not box. radio button, this is a drop down uh, box. Uh, uh, Com list box. List box, yeah, list box. Ah, list box, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't get confused. <laughs> yeah, radio, radio button. button is only for male, female, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Correct. Ah, uh, two toggling, yeah. So, okay, so now you have to be little bit cautious, okay? So the object name is changed, so right? The element name is select now, not input. So that changes. Uh, what else? This is a country. Name country. Okay. It's always good to validate the spot. No? One of one match. And what is this? Yes, now it's highlighting. See? Country. Okay, now this one is going here as country. Okay, I guess we will continue like this and maybe next weekend or next class, we'll actually use them. So right now it's total time going in this Xbox. That's why I asked you to send me the Xbox so that I can just copy it. Nobody did that. Okay, anyways, username. Okay, remember, email and username exchange it. So there's a confusion. 
so name is email and just remember input not select so don't forget to change that back to input knock on match perfect now that is user information so just for my understanding i can put user information so i can put it like this because this is a separate section so this is a contact i can separate them according this for the test of understanding so that is xbox but user name Okay, that that's the Xbox. So don't worry about the naming mismatch. So we will go with it down. And then input name password. So I'll just change this accordingly. And this I'll simply copy the previous line. I don't have to retype it. And what is changing? Simply change this to and last but one what is it okay so now i'll just show you simple thing contains both contain same thing password so you have to be a little cautious the only advantage is here p is capital that's why it's not matching see otherwise i'll show you quickly contents is exactly case sensitive so that's fine okay now it's actually confirmed also i can take it you got my point right since p is capital there was no two matches there was one match so if i just go with this there will be two matches if i remove p see one of two because this and this contain the same word correct okay so just be careful about this here we have advantage this particular thing has capital letter so yeah so now one of one match hmm? e, yeah so here name this this is what matters not this one okay what developer has given that's what you that's what matter so this one has small and this one is capital so hence we got away with that one so otherwise it could have ended in end up ended us up in uh, two matches that's why you always make sure you get one of one match that's why we are working on Xbox. Okay, so next one is uh, if you want, you can go for the exact match here, no problem. So that way you are fine. So it's simply okay. What's the last one is button, it's actually link or input box. So don't worry you do not determine the type whatever is given in the dom you take it for granted so here there is no this thing only validation your uh, mind has to work here you have to think here you take it blindly whatever is it do not even try to think this is not matching this is a link button no it's an input box basically submit so hence it's input that is still correct okay input now what you want to take here image name register so name register is appropriate name so yes one of one perfect now i can click on this what is it called what do you want to call button it, it looks like a button right so i can name it naming is according to your understanding Now we have declared defined variable for submit button also. Okay, this is done. So we registered. Register is only for one time. Okay. Now instead of uh, collecting all the exports of this one, let's try to automate this page. Okay. And then we'll continue in the next class. Otherwise, it takes whole class to just collect. And meanwhile, I'm asking you to collect the exports and send me at least one of each. All right. And Every uh, each uh, a person can do all of them also. This will end with. so next time we'll just copy paste them. Okay, so that's a good idea. Okay, now what is the time now? 9 35. Right? Okay, we will take 10 more minutes and just try to use them. That means we'll try to register automate this register. So registration is anyway mandatory. So we will 
it and it's independent one time only once we register we can keep on using the same info for logging and doing this flight reservation stuff right so it's one of thing so let's try to do this okay so infrastructure will come back to later data also will come back to later so basically what i'm trying to do pages pages has this one right so let's create one more package and we will put that uh, the page registration operations everything operations on the registrations page uh, objects we'll put in the package what do you want to call this packages because pages actually related to page objects right now let's call what 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 do you want to call them actually these are pages registration page now tell me what do you want to call them you can rename them if you want okay i got an idea because instead of pages let's call them page objects because pages actually i want to use for automating this page so i want to rename this as what what do you want to rename this pages as actually they are exports right so xbox is nothing but page objects correct you can rename it whatever you want to you can say xbox also but i am going with page objects or objects you can say what they were used right now page objects contains everything see the declaration of the package changed immediately from page to page object now i want to go for pages doesn't matter naming convention is up to you so you understand the difference right difference between pages and page objects page objects will contain xpos of this each and every object in the page page will contain coding like this you understand do you understand yes yeah now in the pages i will call i will create another call clause do not get confused if you do let me know okay now here the name i am putting is same thing again registration okay and am i going to execute this directly no so i don't want to public put public static void main this will be reusable again okay where i am going to create that executable in the test cases only tests or i'll just simply rename this appropriately as test cases so that we will exactly mimic all small letters remember okay don't worry about this it's going to change everything because i refactored now test cases will this okay utils is another one okay now this is another example so in this case i can create a test case okay so let's call this tc1 in real time and this is how it should be or tc001 we can rename it according to because we are not going for three digits they are not going to be 200 test cases we are going to work on so let's say tc1 so my tc1 is just register a person okay simply register a person yeah so now that is going to have public static void main now i am going to call the registration met registration here in this one registration and its methods in this one so this will be ultimately executable test case so hence i pre uh, uh, prematurely renamed uh, named it as tc1 so that uh, it acts as a heads up just for a heads up now registration i am coming here now in the registration there is only simple page okay but i can simply create one function or i can create multiple functions for entering contact name entering mailing information entering user information separately right because for example if i don't want to uh, like uh, for example if i don't want to enter mailing information maybe it's optional i can skip it right and i can only enter the mandatory information so that's all flexibility will be there okay registration now that's a class so i'm going to create some functions public void so i'm going to enter contact information Right. now contact information is a function starting with small letter yeah and no spaces yeah 
and it might take some variables uh, parameters it might not don't worry about them now we'll keep it plain and simple okay so now look at this i'm going very gradually one by one one step at a time so i'm going to convert this into multiple uh, hybrid i'm going to apply all the facts of all the uh, steps in the hybrid framework i'm going to data data pool it data drive it i'm going to use keyword driven and i'm going to uh, use uh, the page objects uh, that means exports passed from here so step by step and i can pass the parameters from uh, into this uh, functions later so first i'm making it plain and simple for your understanding okay now i have to enter the first name right contact information as first name so how do i do you have already seen in that how do you enter into a text box using this line driver dot find element by x path remember send case using the driver so for that i had to do all this right driver this one system property set and web driver instantiation and driver dot bit everything i had to do correct so shall we do it okay tell me now or we can create a setup process that all can go into setup okay so we'll create a setup don't get confused if you get confused let me know as soon as possible so setup will contain all these drivers thing okay one of thing so let me call this as setup. okay so setup is again not executable per se i'm gonna call it so let's call public wide launch application that's my function right okay so in this what i'm gonna do launch application first thing what i do yes anyone yes what what we are doing in this uh, google example same thing First thing, what you have to do, you have to set the system property, system dot set property, right? And the property name is web driver dot home dot driver. Is it correct? Don't worry, this is one of thing. Web driver dot home dot driver, right? Then, what is the property value? Where your web driver is? I'm basically redoing it just for your understanding purpose. It is my Chrome driver here, right? And then what is the Chrome driver name? You have to do exactly the same thing. That's why you can refer to this uh, recorded session later, okay? Dot exe full path, okay? And see what is the error, invalid escape sequence. Now, what is that? Why is this coming? Because I used this backslash. Now I have to escape it. That's why double backslash is needed, okay? Now that is the first step. Okay, I'm not writing the, uh, what is it, uh, uh, comments, okay? Already I've written comments here, Chrome, configure Chrome driver and everything. So I am directly going about this. System dot set property is the one. Set properties is for multiple. So system. by mistake, if I select it, I can. Okay, next, web driver instantiation. Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver, right? And I can also say, and web driver, I need to import it, just hover over it and import. If any error, just hover over it. Okay. Now, driver dot get, and I can pass the application, right? Now, launch application, I can actually pass the URL. URL is this one, right? This one is the URL. Or if I'm coming from there, I can go to the main 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 pages main page is this one and from there i had to click on register and then i'll come to register so i had to automate this one also what is the register because it's a one time only so i had to do it so a contains uh you don't have to i'll go for the text okay register for this change 
for a change, I'll go to text. So for text, what I have to do? This is the naming convention. Register as it is registered. Okay. One of one. So that's exactly matching register. Because from the home page, I have to first click on radio register link, right? In order to come to the register page. So I should have done that. So Hello. Registry... I have one question. Hello. Go ahead. Uh, in yes. the email space, this one also need for the testing, and then Aurora, <coughs> Aruba, this one also need for the testing? No, only for read purpose. This only email. for your understanding. Yeah, yeah, no, oh. this is this yeah, one I in do. testing time. We didn't do this one, huh? This email. Ah, uh, you mean in the manual testing? How do I do the manual testing? Yeah, this part. No, manual testing. Okay, what you do is you open this page, you write the test case. Okay, enter for you click on this register and uh, registration page is open. Only for, only for image part, image, image. And then we didn't do anything else. This one is, yeah, in, you know, so the picture in the backside in the sky and globe and write, write something. And then I don't, but. <coughs> oh, oh, oh initial, I mean. Yeah, image. yeah. You mean the home page? Ah. Mm -hmm. So, what is your question again? I didn't catch you. Yeah. Again. <coughs> Sorry, I have a coughing problem. And That's then okay. the testing part, uh, we will do the this part also testing or no? Only for information part. We will do testing. I mean, this is for this is a purely static page. I mean, no, your flight will not be booked in here. Then don't worry. So if you are talking about automation, we are using this application. How do how do element is coming this part? Real, uh, no, 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 ma'am. This is not for real time. This is a dummy site. OK, real okay. project will come here according to OK. That's what your question was, right? This yeah. is just dummy. OK, this is just dummy for our practice. I have mm -hmm. chosen this dummy flight reservation application site. That's all. This is just yeah, a website, which is dummy. Yes. Yeah. yeah, just for our practice, this is very simple. No, no, no. This one is dummy. I understand. And then real life is different. Yeah. Because Correct. this okay. part this, is okay. image. Just understand image. This. only for image and developer. This one is uh -huh. developed and then write uh, something and then go to the picture. And uh, then yeah. this one is whole. Tell whole me image. one reservation yeah. site, uh, flight reservation site like kayak.com right this is a real site if i mm -hmm. if i am working in the kayak site project i would be working on this right but i am not working so okay. that's why i chose this one this is just for understanding don't worry. okay okay fine uh, never mind okay. you can i mean i thought you you understood already mm -hmm. okay register here okay now next thing what we have to do i uh, and uh, set up so set up what I'm doing is I'm simply passing that whatever I want to pass, I am passing it as a string. Yeah, it is called URL. So I'm saying just get this URL and open it. Okay, that's all is set up. But don't worry. Here, there is a complex thing occurred. Every time I have to do this, I have to return this driver. So this has to be of not of web uh, Y type, but web driver type. So it's a little bit complex. I will do this later. And you have to add a return statement. Basically, the re what I have to return is driver. Okay. And uh, after returning driver, using the driver, same driver, I have to keep on operating on these elements because same instance of driver has to be used. So we will do this in the same currently. And we will use setup later. So just now I realized there is a complex involved. Okay. Registration and url i can pretty much define here string url is what is the url this one is a url right and uh, okay don't forget to put http or https before otherwise it wouldn't open even though it's hidden it's always http not not secure it's http if it is secure https so I already put that when I copied it automatically came. Okay, now I launch the application and browser, right? The contact information. This is basically it goes into different, but I put it in the contact. If you want, I can put it here itself, public void, uh, launch, let's say, yeah, just for clarity. 
and this all will go where here okay one more thing is this doesn't belong here so the system property everything has to go outside because the driver has to be common every time hmm okay that's fine that's fine okay you can put it here and string url right okay so driver dot get also i can put it here i just want to declare this oops right and assign this value here from driver and i should be able to use this driver every time because i am going to call launch in the beginning so we are going to make more sophisticated later but for the time okay now i have to click on the register button right so how do i do that tell me i would dot find element by xpath and xpath is something okay which i will enter and dot click okay so that will what it will do actually this will click on this register button that's what i'm doing so xpath i have stored already where did i store xpath in the registration here correct this is the link register so how do i call this i want to call this register here so tell me link register but its link register is not there so registration dot can i use this no because it's not static let's make it static and come back and see is available first of all let's see okay uh any reason because it's not public remember public static is available outside the class and you can pretty much use the class name that's what i'm doing registration dot registration okay registration the pages okay so registration dot it's not coming let me save it okay no worries we will use in a non static manner so for calling any non static what do you want to do first of all you have to instantiate this registration let's call reg equals new registration so that's in pages remember it's always differentiating oh sorry which one is it's a page objects don't don't get confused page objects dot registration or i can simply uh, import this page objects here i'll add import page objects okay so then i don't have to use this package name directly because i already imported i can directly use okay now it's easier reg dot okay now we will make this more sophisticated later don't worry now i can pass reg dot okay what is that value there is a registration there are some errors okay let's use Uh, reg dot uh, where is it uh, what is the variable link register okay so public this is public right it is not coming it's in page objects okay so the export is added here let's say dot send keys okay let's say i am entering something like john right okay now we have to enter this so let's make a variable for this one equals
now x path i have to call this here okay so now how do you call from here to here this is a different class in a different uh, different package now i have to call this you understand what i am saying so this is a public variable now i have to call this in a separate class how do you call this yes hello how do you call this not available so let's try to use static should make it available right public public it is string so here i should be able to use by class registration okay oh maybe i uh, uh, imported the wrong package before that's right registration but this registration should point to the page objects registration right dot is simply not available. i want i was going to use a different approach okay uh um mm, that takes time okay so for the timing i'll directly use the same x path okay don't worry so i had different approach in mind and i don't have time okay so for the timing i am going to use x path right away okay so what else what is what is the error about here find element okay yeah, sometimes you have to deal with this even though you have typed correctly it's going to throw error okay you have to just retype okay so let's use the same approach quickly and see it enters it or not okay so 1 2 3 4 4 let's try is here first name last name phone and email right okay first you have to click on uh this one this one register is a link yeah register is a link right dot click okay first we will apply dot click all right so then after clicking what oh so whatever you do manually you just try to automate them that's all so first name so first name uh, what is uh, this thing so don't worry about this using i'll show you in the next class because it takes more okay so for this in case first name and okay just to initiate i'll put the same section name as comment okay so tell me what is the next one simply okay i'll copy this is four right so we will see till this part because it's already passed uh, okay what is the x path if anybody remembers what is the x path for this one what is the x path for this one name what is the x path for this one Uh, i phone, think it's phone. different wait 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 phone is small uh no no <coughs> uh yeah so this one is email is this one so it's a little bit different okay so i'm going to put this here okay so that's okay let's change this let's go the name is blah 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 okay 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 let's try to execute till here because uh, i can't show you the whole example today so only on weekends it's for okay so now i run it let's see if it runs running is it's not running because it doesn't have public static void main so what we are plan is we are going to call this in the Test case. So this is how it's gonna be ultimately. 
test case will call pages pages will call page objects and pages will call infrastructure and pages will call data also so these two are empty right now so we are going to fill this up later okay now tell me which one i have to call simply registration registrations function what is the function here yeah what is the function i have to call hmm. okay so launch and contact information right so how do you call a function here tell me tell me tell me uh, contact information dot where is that contact information in which class you have to call that registration 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 and the method is not static so you have to first instantiate registration okay registration i'll use the same name and new registration okay so you have to import this correct registration okay i should have given two different names because it gets confused so what i'll do is i'll simply rename this i then there is a naming okay register let's call it register okay this refactor register because it's getting confused between which package to import register okay so now let's register so register register okay it's easy now pages register belongs to pages registration belongs to page objects clear okay control s control shift s okay oh okay now tell me how to call register what do you want to call from register here it is register dot what is available first what do you want to call first you have to launch the browser right launch then what do you want to call after launching and opening you want to register with the contact information correct register link click so we can separate out that later but just for the timing okay now let's try to execute how do you execute how do you execute run java okay. application uh -huh. yeah can you take control and do it? because i don't know how we are doing at home uh where is it how do you go to giving control control where is it <laughs> it is disappearing actually okay never mind okay tell me how do you execute this one right click run as java application okay so see the okay errors uh register new register has errors okay ah uh, because again this register is pointing to same it, yeah in the same class i am trying to instantiate the same class remember that is before the renaming so take this off okay even we wanted to use registration maybe that is the reason why errors are there Sorry, registration ah uh, So if we try to use one dot, okay, never mind. So this is later. I have to use the web driver, return the web driver, and use the same instance of web driver. So for that, I uh, we need more time. Okay, anyway. So let's see one. Okay, now it's going to launch the browser. and uh, open the url which you whichever url you send and click that and phone number is not entered so why it is not entered or waiting let's see 
only we are going to deal with four fields and stop today's session all right okay so now let's come back and it actually through the error it didn't even close the browser because we didn't quit it right okay now where is the error contact information inside the contact where is the error here okay now what is the problem here because it's going out of length maybe so let's keep it uh, oh it's not even numbers what is the real phone number okay let's try and finally uh, let's not quit it yet let's see because if we are on the same page we can see what's entered or what's not entered okay register phone number is not going okay so you have to debug this is a part of automation so don't worry and it threw the error what is the error and maybe the phone number sex path is wrong all right let's see how do you do it you can right click and inspect directly the shortcut and control f okay zero matches there you go it's not finding right now so let's see again phone ha huh. so what is the mistake it's okay small. anyone is small <coughs> okay so p is small job by mistake we put the capital p okay that's good one good point so maybe in here also i put Ah, uh, here it is correct. So basically, in typing, it went wrong. So when we use this one, we will use, <coughs> use properly. Okay, let's rerun. Come on, come on, come on. Launch browser, launch application. Boom, done. So that's about it for today okay so if you uh, understand this uh, require uh, today's session what i am asking you is try to come up with xpaths for all of this so that we can save time okay the whole time went into just capturing xpaths today right so any uh, any questions can you do it that's a homework yes homework is what what is the homework finding xpath ha huh, right xpaths for all these pages bearing this one because this is already done right we just not it it is done writing xpaths for all objects in these pages okay so everyone do this and uh, just be ready with it or send me an email okay so that i'll copy and be ready with it and we will just fill these and go about automating each page and we have to do the infrastructure level and data pool level and uh, combine that with pages we have to inter uh, view that with excel spreadsheet where data comes from because data has to come from excel spreadsheet this data is initial again so it's going to become more complex going forward so the next class will be i think on saturday uh, or i don't know on thursday so that uh, you will be intimated later so all right guys so okay i'll end today's session here it's too late it's already night 11 o'clock okay any more questions in today's session or we can close No more questions. Oh, question. yeah, well. okay. And then we created the pages and then package, two packages. One is page object package and then blah, 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 a five file, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Other one is pages. And then why you use the restart and the other file is the registration? This one is relation, Good. both of them. Good what question. You, these are page objects, right? Obviously, okay. these are for exports, you know, export storage only. This is like a storage box for xpaths yeah that's what we call page objects <coughs> and these are for actual pages we want to automate them like this one by one step by step object by object okay now this will contain again reusable functions now these reusable functions will be called in test case test case is what 
it actually will make the manual test case. So exactly we will be making and these test cases will be batched up in a, another file. That's all later. So you are asking about difference between these two. This is for page objects, aka Xbox. This is for pages as such application has 100 pages, right? Each page will take and create a class and automate the whole page by chunking, chunking, chunking up uh, into different sections called reusable functions like launch. We are going to put on a setup and contact information. I mean, this is very simple, but we, I am trying to modularize the within the page itself just to show you guys because this page, page might be more complicated than this. Because if you look at real time, like kayak.com, we can take real time also later. Like, for example, uh, I can go for flights here, hotels, package. So, in the same page, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. If I go to flights, it will different way, different page. In the same page, again, I can go for different multiple. I can select this cheaper and Expedia, Expedia or price line or cheaper and price line and flight multiples of this. So hence, reusable functions are needed within the same page. You, you, I thought you might ask that question, but I am already telling you. So the same page uh, uh, class will contain multiple functions and multiple con functions, I can make them overloaded also based on which. Remember, I told you, if I don't want to enter the address line too, I should be able to do that from the test case level. So I can overload them. And uh, I will show you overloading of different types and I can go for uh, putting a hash map and just pause that hash map so that uh, I don't have to pass anything. I can leave it pretty much empty. The hash map will contain all the elements from the data pool Excel spreadsheet, the test case data pertaining to data pertaining to test case. And I can pass this uh, whatever I want in the test case level. So the basically the focus will be on test case. Test case must be executed. No, no matter what, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. So we are following a structure framework. This is called framework skeleton called hybrid framework with data driven approach, infrastructure level functions and page object model and keyword driven approach. Why keyword driven? These are all keywords functions, reusable functions, these keywords and setup and uh, test cases here. These test cases will be can be uh, called in a batch test case so just, just entering that suite it will enter all the test cases so that's all overall framework and utils is normally if you want to use utility functions like date functions if i want to add the uh, two three days to a date what is the next date if i enter age what is the date of birth hence all this all these utility functions will be there in the utils so we will see more of this in the next class so if no more questions we can end today's session here Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good night, guys. Yeah, bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Okay, uh, I will uh, send the notes later. Mm -hmm. Later, later, later.